Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I wanna go over some things that I'm starting to notice here on the NASDAQ, some technical levels, some technical factors that I want you to be aware of before we get the FOMC minutes that comes out tomorrow. Now, this video is not meant to instill fear in anyone. It's just a way to educate you, to show you some things that I'm watching here on the tech market so that you guys are aware, that you guys are educated as we approach this important Fed minutes that comes out tomorrow. So if you're here, if you're watching, you'll know what's going on. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, press that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to press that bell notification so that you know every single time that I post. All right, guys, so up here on your screen, you're gonna be looking at the daily chart on the NASDAQ. Now, this one's gonna be pretty short. I'm just gonna show you this technical level. I'm gonna give you some insights, and you're gonna to have to decide on your own. I'm not here to tell you what's gonna happen. I'm not here to you know influence you in either direction. I'm just here to show you the technicals, to show you some indicators that I'm starting to see here on the NASDAQ, and I want you to make sure to watch this. Hopefully, you're watching this before tomorrow. So, on the NASDAQ here, on the daily chart, you'll first see that we're definitely starting to stall here. You have this triple top that's come in, honestly, a little bit of a head and shoulders. Today, almost confirmed that right shoulder. You can see left shoulder, a head, a right shoulder, and a pretty nasty day today. Red day on the NASDAQ, higher than usual volume. Definitely a little bit concerning here on the NASDAQ. Now, we didn't give up the whole move yet. We're definitely holding some support levels. We definitely still have some demand in this area. These previous highs around 14.9, you have some lows here. And we definitely held up today towards end of day. So that is something to consider. We definitely have some support to the downside. This is not a doom and gloom video. There's definitely support to the downside, but I want you to make, I want to make sure that you guys are aware of some things that I'm seeing. Now, on top of this potential triple top, potential head and shoulders here, Look down at the bottom. This is probably the biggest takeaway from today's video, and that is that I'm starting to see some bearish divergence here on the NASDAQ. This is very important to some people that use this as a strategy. This is the sign of a slowdown. This is a sign of potential downside. So you have a high here on the 26th of July. RSI topped out around 70, 71. Now, the next high right here on the NASDAQ, you got through new highs, 15,172. What happened on the RSI? It actually made a lower high, and that is the beginning of bearish divergence. You have the NASDAQ going up, making new highs, and you have the RSI going down on a downtrend, making lower highs. The next spike that came in over the last few days, we pushed up into 15,133. We did not break highs. If you look down at the RSI, you will see we made another lower high on the RSI. It is in a clear downtrend right now, the RSI, while the NASDAQ is in a clear uptrend over the last few days, potentially starting to break that uptrend. So does this signal that there is potentially some fear settling into the market? Maybe. You no. Know, with news like FOMC minutes releasing tomorrow, could all of this be invalidated by the Fed saying that they're not going to taper bonds, but bond buying? Does the NASDAQ push through highs because of that? That could absolutely happen. So this indicator of bearish divergence, the you know the weakness today on the market, that could all be totally invalidated by some you know some dovish news from the Fed tomorrow. Now, is that guaranteed? Absolutely not. Nothing is guaranteed here. I want to show you this. I want to show you this bearish divergence. I want to show you the triple top, even head and shoulders here on the Nasdaq, so that tomorrow and the rest of this week you could be educated of the technicals here on the chart. But ultimately, you need to be aware of what the what the Fed says and what they said in their last minutes. Are is bond buy, is bond tapering coming? You know how does that affect the tech market? I'm not a you know I can't read the future. I don't know for sure. But in today's video, that's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the triple top, the head and shoulders here in the Nasdaq, the clear stall that we have seen over the last month. The Nasdaq has barely moved here over the last month, and the bearish divergence that is starting to come in. So. That's what I have for you today. I really don't have anything else. I just wanted to show you this. I wanted to get this video out so that you guys are aware of it and that everyone that actually watches these videos can be prepared for this technical formation that is starting to form. 
All right, guys, so that is the video. Pretty short, but some important technical stuff that I want you to be aware of, that triple top, the bearish divergence. I'm in a Facebook position, as you guys may know. It was not a good day for it, so just telling you, being transparent. I will update you on that position as we move forward. As of right now, I am red on the position. I'll keep you updated on you know any moves that I make with that position. Wanted to knock out this video. Wanted to show you what I'm noticing here on the NASDAQ. Tomorrow's a very big day. We'll see what the bond, what the uh, Fed is going to be doing with bond buying. We'll see if the tapering comes in. We'll see if they're very dovish. If they say, you know, no concerns here. We're going to continue to keep the bond buying stable. And if that comes out, then, you know, maybe we see the NASDAQ breakthrough new highs. Maybe the bearish divergence means nothing. Of course, technicals are technicals. Any big macroeconomic news like the FOMC minutes can invalidate everything that I'm looking at here today. So hopefully you guys learned something today. Hopefully you guys will become educated from this technical analysis and you can go into tomorrow with a little bit more of intuition, a little bit more of an idea of what's going on here with the tech market. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Press that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Down below, comment what you guys think. I want to hear from you. Comment if you think this is bearish divergence, if you are concerned about this FOMC minutes. Let me know down below. I'd like to conversate. I'd like to see what you guys are thinking. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.